So I've had a few comments in recent videos asking about these shortcut buttons that we get on the bottom of our Fire TV remote, or even our Nvidia Shield happens to have them as well. They're usually like Netflix or Prime Video, something along those lines. And people have asked two things. They've complained because they accidentally sit on their remote and suddenly they press Prime Video and it pops up a totally different thing than what you're watching. And I know we've all done that at some point on our remote. And the second thing is, well, if I can't disable them, how about changing what they are taking me to because at the end of the day these are just customizable keys that are sending a signal to your fire tv device telling it to pull up a specific app so today i'll be showing you not only how to disable these little buttons in a few minutes but also customize them so they can bring you to any app you want instead of their original function now if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below give this video a big thumbs up and like always i try to answer all of your questions for the first hour to two hours so make sure you drop them down below okay now we're gonna bust through this tutorial as quick as possible i don't want to keep you guys uh, following along for too long. Now, if you followed my video before on how to get Launcher Manager and set up a launcher on your Fire Stick, a custom home screen, uh, then you'll already know one of these steps. So we're just kind of walking through a bit more of it. But all of the chapters are linked down below if you want help at any point uh, or just skip forward, of course. Now, if you guys have a second, make sure you just go follow me on Instagram, okay? It's, it's right here down below in the description. Instagram, okay? If you have an Instagram, you're not super old, go give it a follow. Okay, we're trying to get to a thousand followers, so I would appreciate that. All right, let's get into it. So first thing we have to do is we have to go to our settings tab and you guys, we've done this a million times, but if you're new to the channel, we'll walk through it one more. So go to my Fire TV in the bottom left and then click on about. And what you wanna do is click on that Fire TV Stick 4K. It might say Fire TV, it might say whatever. It just depends on what device you have. Click on that four to five times, you'll become a developer. Now, when we click back once, you're gonna see this developer's option. All we have to do is turn on ADB debugging and apps from unknown so sources you can leave for now. However, if you already have downloader installed, you'll wanna make sure this is turned on for downloader. It kind of does it for every separate app, but make sure that's on anyways. Um, and it might ask you to do it again, but we'll ignore that. So click that home button. And what we wanna do is go to find. This is kind of like our app store. Click in here and we wanna install downloader now this is just basically a browser that lets you prompt download super easy makes things a lot quicker if you already have it installed great if you don't let's continue to go uh, if you're installing it just pause the video for a second and then you can continue on so click and go to your home section right here and we want to go to this searchable url right here and let me pull it up right here so i can see and i have my code for my website so this is just a shortcut to get to it a little bit quicker so it's 773 820, nice and easy to remember. Not really, but whatever. This will bring you directly to my website. Now, the first thing I suggest doing to make things simple is once this loads up, you're gonna wanna scroll and go to this top right on your browser, the three horizontal lines. Click on that and you're gonna wanna click add current page to favorite. This way you can always get back to my page just by going to the side scrolling bar on the left-hand side that says favorites and that will pull up my download section. Just makes things a little bit quicker in the future instead of having to remember that code. And I try to add new stuff for tutorials to make. Now the first section you're gonna run into is Fire Stick apps. We wanna scroll down until we find the Fire Stick Launcher Manager. Now this was also used for Wolf Launcher, but you can also use this to actually customize those keys. So we're gonna to wanna to click on it. You might have to close an ad here. Yeah, I, I need to make some money off these videos, you know? And then we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and install Launcher Manager. It just takes a few seconds. So now go ahead and open it up and we're gonna start the process of getting our keys customized. So go into launcher options. This is the first top thing. And then we wanna go down into where we find home button hook, click on that. And you're gonna see a bunch of options here. Now we have to turn all three of these on right here. So click on home button hook. It's going to restart the app the first time. This is completely normal, don't worry. Now you're gonna to wanna to go back and we're going to want to go to our apps and scroll down. So we're gonna to wanna to go to our apps and open Launcher Manager again. Go back into Launcher Options, click on Home Button Hook, and now we wanna make sure all three of these are turned on. So Shortcut Button Hook, Use ADB for Home, and Home Button Hook, all those have to be turned on for this to work. Now, the way they have this organized is very simple. Shortcut Button 1 is your top right, so that's almost always your Netflix. Shortcut bottom button two is your top left. 
Uh, button three is your bottom left, so Disney Plus in my case, and bottom four would be Amazon Music. So just remember that they kind of lay it out for you to make it easy to customize these keys. So I'm going to go on the top right key, so that is my Netflix, and I'm going to customize this to the Downloader app. Now let me explain how this works. Now that we have it open and we have it set up, I'm going to click the button. Now what you're going to notice is it's going to bring me to Netflix. So it does still work for Netflix, however... What we can do is when we click that button one more time, now that is going to pull up Downloader. So sometimes you have to wait for it to load a little bit, but once they're loaded up after and they're kind of refreshed in the background, the process works way better, way quicker. So that second press is going to bring you into your app that you have now customized, making it you know just a little quicker. So now we can basically just toggle between the two apps just by pressing it. Uh, it, it is a little bit quicker, right, than having to scroll through and always finding Downloader uh, and the other apps we want to watch. So it just makes the process a little bit faster. Now we can always go back into the app and change these into whatever we want. One of the ones I like to set up is ExpressVPN. So that way when I want to change Netflix into another country's Netflix, I can just click that top light left button, which is usually Prime Video. It's going to bring me to Prime Video. Now... I can open up my VPN by clicking it again. So now that I have my VPN open by clicking it one more time, which is a shortcut, we can now set our VPN to any country. And this is, of course, going to change the content that's inside of the app. So if you're in the United States, change it to the United Kingdom. And now we can check out what Prime Video has to offer from the United Kingdom. You're going to have to exit and re-enter the app. It's a really quick option in order to pull up a VPN and change your location for any app. And this would also be a good one to put over top of Netflix. So you can toggle in between Netflix and your VPN and change your country to any country for more content. And if you guys want a great way to support the channel is to look down below in the description and we have one of the best possible deals for ExpressVPN. It'll bring you to my customized page. You get 12 months, 49% off, plus a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it at any point within that 30 days, cancel it. They give you all your money back. I get a kickback regardless. So great way to support the channel. That's everything for today, guys. Thank you for checking out today's video and hopefully it was a little bit helpful. And if you want, check out this one here where we went over a custom launcher for your Fire TV stick.